Hello, everyone. This is Congressman Mike Levin. I'm very sorry not to be able to join you in person for the screening of this important film. I did have a chance to see the film earlier this week, and I want to thank all those involved. To the filmmakers, thanks for chronicling so much that has happened here in our community these past dozen years. To those featured in the film, thank you for your years of activism. Please know that I'm as committed as ever to working with you towards solutions. When I got to Congress in 2019, one of the first things I did was to assemble a Songs Task Force to help determine the best path forward for the spent nuclear fuel on our beach. It's co-chaired by two people in the film, retired Rear Admiral Len Herring and former NRC Chairman Greg Yosko. I'd like to thank Len and Greg for their work, particularly for helping to prepare a comprehensive report released in 2020 that made several specific recommendations for federal government action. Since then, we've been hard at work enacting these recommendations. We've introduced several pieces of legislation, created a new bipartisan spent nuclear fuel caucus, and provided over $90 million for a new federal consent-based siting process that emphasizes environmental justice. This new program was announced at San Onofre by the new U.S. Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm. The film also asks important questions about safety, and I look forward to a robust discussion in the months and years ahead about some of the concerns that are raised. Again, my thanks to all involved. Please know that our challenge at Songs and the nation's spent nuclear fuel issues more generally will continue to be top of mind for me for as long as I'm honored to serve.